How would you like to be able to add content to your WordPress site without ever creating the content yourself? This is an amazing new product called Content Gorilla. I'm gonna take you in the members area. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. I got a WordPress website set up. So you're gonna see from beginning to end what this product does and exactly how it works. Now, as always, I will put links under this video in the description box. You'll find resource links in there and also a link to my website where you can get current details about the pricing of Content Gorilla, the upsells, and some amazing bonuses you can pick up if you buy Content Gorilla through my website. Okay, so here we are in the members area. This is gonna be a Content Gorilla review from beginning to end. I'm gonna give you a full demo of this product. So let me go ahead and sign in to the members area. And what Content Gorilla is, is it's a way to take content from YouTube videos from the description of them and even spin that content up and automatically add it to your WordPress sites, giving you unique, fresh content. And you can even set it up to have it all done automatically for you. So here we are inside the dashboard of Content Gorilla. Now, as you can see here, they are still configuring some of the stuff with it. The Google API doesn't exactly pull results quite as well as what they want them to yet, uh, but it still works very well. But just to give you a heads up, that's what's going on here. Okay, so the first thing you have to do before you uh, add your sites or anything to Content Gorilla is you have to download this plugin. So up here, you'll see a download plugin. It's just a, a, an ordinary WordPress plugin. You're going to download it. You're going to upload it to your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so here I am inside of my website. This is called whirlitzer.org. And what I done was I actually used a tool called ytsnooper.com. You guys may have seen my previous review on that product. It's where I find high authority expired domain names. And I will register them to put a lot of my WordPress sites on so they start off with a lot of authority and they start off ranking stuff much better than what just a brand new website would. So this site that I bought here, whirlitzer.org, you can see here it does have a little bit of authority to it and it's got over 113 referring domains. And if I go here and sort it by the domain rating, we're gonna see we even have a link from Wikipedia, Cafe Press, uh, some really good links in here which is gonna give it some authority to allow it to rank better once we get these posts started on the site. Okay, so I went ahead and added the plugin on here. It's just a simple add new, upload it, activate it, and that's it. There's nothing else you have to do. So when you go back to Content Gorilla, what you wanna do is go down here to your sites, and you can see here where you can add sites, and you can add a bunch of them, and you can search for them in here. If you have a lot added, you can just come over here, click Add Site, and all you're gonna do is give it a title, the website address, enter your username and password that you use to log in with, and then save it. Now, once that's added, what you can do is you can go back to your dashboard and you can search for a video. Now, the way this works is it gives you the option to search for videos. You can use um, a YouTube URL, so if you know of a specific video you wanna use to turn it into content for your WordPress site, you can do that. And they also have it by license. So if you want to use Creative Common, just so you know for sure it's not going to have any kind of copyright issues. But what I'm finding using this more and more is because it has an integrated spinning feature is that uh, it makes it unique. So it's going to take the content, it's going to spin it up, and then it's going to post it to your WordPress site. But even before that, it gives you the option to edit it to adjust it exactly how you want it. So let's do that. Let's go down here and this site here, I've already added a couple articles onto it from Content Gorilla. So if I scroll down here, you'll see this is one post that I made. It's called, it's Amazon Affiliate Marketing. What it does is it puts a featured image and then this is uh, one of the default WordPress themes. So depending on the theme you use, the layout's gonna be different. But with this theme, it put my featured image these are the tags, it automatically put those there, it embedded the video automatically, and this is the content that it added, and this was huge. There was like 2,300 words that was in the description of this video, and I spun it up, and I added it to this site, and now I had this huge post about affiliate, or Amazon affiliate marketing on my site, and I didn't create the content for. So let's go back here to Content Gorilla, and let me go ahead and search for another video for affiliate marketing. 
and hopefully it will turn back some relevant results since they're still updating the API. Okay, good, they do. So here's, okay, this is the video that I added the other day. Okay, so let's just do this video here, affiliate marketing for beginners. Number one, choosing a niche. This is a pretty big topic. You can see here it's 23 minutes long. So, but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on create post and we're gonna give it a minute to get all the details about this video. And it's gonna bring us to this page here. And this is where we can edit the entire post before we upload it to our WordPress site. So it's showing us here, this is the video, this is the video title, and the reading time, 24 minutes, okay? So this has a lot of content to it also. If I scroll down here, it's gonna show us this is the title. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this a little bit, okay? I'm gonna uh, change the title up. I'm gonna put choosing a niche first, and then affiliate marketing for beginners, and then we'll just do 2019. Okay, and then you can come down here. This, this, the content they have in this video is almost 5,000 words. That is a massive article that we can use for our website. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out this part here and I can edit any of this. I can come in here, I can put links in here and that way the, the, uh, the article when it gets posted to my WordPress site will actually show those links and going to wherever I want it to go to. So I can have this actually linking to my YouTube videos, I can have it linking um, back to my YouTube channel, other WordPress sites, affiliate offers, whatever it is, uh, or even opt-ins. This is a great way to create websites where you can create lead generation offers because it, it does it almost you know on autopilot for you. Okay, so what we can do here is we can add images. So if I click on add images, it, it brings over a lot of images over here and we can search for what we want. Okay, so let's just do, um, type in internet, and search images. Okay, and here's what we got. So what I can do is I can scroll down here and I can break this article up a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much because this is a huge article and it would take me a while to do it. But what I wanna do is I'll take this image, I'm gonna drag it and we're gonna drop it right here. And so it automatically adds that image. And I'm gonna put a um, space between these to just kind of separate it out. And we can go on down here and we can add another image right here. Let's just say we want to do this one and then we can go on down and then maybe right here we want a link. So let's just say, uh, check out more details and I can have it going back to my website. Okay, so we can have it like that. And then you're gonna see up here, you have options where you can bold, italicize, link, quotes. You can add your own images if you have those and then there's also bulleted list. So if we scroll on down here, um, it, this isn't like an iframe type thing. So unfortunately, if you have a huge article like this, and if you want to link something, you got to scroll down through it, and then you got to scroll back up to click that link button. So we'll click link, okay? And then down here, we just enter in what or where we want it to go, and then click save, okay? And then that's done, and then I can, I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to bold it. So we'll go back to the top click bold. Okay, but you get the idea how this works, okay? Let's just go on down here because I'll probably keep this article on this site I'm building. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more images into it. And what I could also do is I could link out to a couple authority websites, which will help this to rank better also. So that's just a little SEO tip for you guys. If, if my um, website is based around affiliate marketing, I would wanna search on Google for some affiliate marketing websites, find some that are high authority, and then link out to them uh, because it's gonna do your website more good than it is harm. So let's go ahead and just put one here and then we'll do one more. Go down here, gosh, this article is huge. And we'll just do this one. Okay, and then what we can do, we can do correct grammar. Now this, this, actually, this article looks really good. So it says this here needs corrected, but that's, that's fine. Paleo is spelled that way. Keto, paleo. The last article I done had a lot of corrections in it. And if you come down here and click correct grammar, it'll, it'll fix most of those automatically, which is really cool. So the next thing I want to do is I want to spin it. So I'm going to click spin content. And this takes a, a minute for it to do. It's going to go through the entire article and spinning it using the built-in spinner system in Content Gorilla. So we're gonna give it a minute to finish this. Okay, so it's done spinning. We get a pop-up here telling us that it was done successfully. 
And so this is ready to be published now if we don't want to do anything else to it. And what we can do also is come up here to featured image. And I don't want to use this image because this is an image of him and that may be something he won't like. So I want to change my featured image. And what I done is I went to Pixabay. Uh, all this stuff's free to use. So you go to pixabay.com. You can do a search for something similar to what you're wanting. And I downloaded this image. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that instead. So I'm just going to choose change featured image and then upload that image. Okay, we got that added. Now if we click on tags, it's gonna automatically import the tags from the videos to use for the tags in our WordPress post. Syndication, if you upgrade to one of the one-time offers, it'll automatically syndicate it to your social sites, which will give it some extra link juice and more exposure. And then when you're done, you can go to publish. Let me close this window over here. You can go to publish and you can choose the categories that you have on your site. Currently, the one I have set up is called news. So I'm gonna tick that. And then I'm gonna in include the video on my WordPress post because including a video will really help your uh, WordPress uh, site to get ranked better. It'll get picked up and indexed faster. And also, if people watch the video, it's gonna keep them on your site longer, giving your site more watch time, which is gonna help it to rank better also. And then you can include the video attribution if you want to. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. I probably should, but I'm not going to. So we're gonna leave it here and I'm gonna click publish. And we're gonna get a, uh, just a few minutes here to publish. And then once that's done, we're gonna go back to the website. I'm gonna refresh it and show you guys exactly what it looks like. Okay, it's actually done already. Let's go back here and ref or go to the home page. And here it is, choosing a niche affiliate marketing for beginners 2019. So let's go ahead and click on this post. Scroll down here, okay, you can see it's got all the tags, it embedded the video, and here's the article with the pictures, and it formats it great. Now remember, I'm using one of the default WordPress themes. Depending on the theme you use, the layout's gonna be different. We scroll down through here, we're gonna see this is our link, and uh, for some reason, it actually didn't turn it into a link, so I'm gonna have to find out why that didn't turn out to a link this time. Uh, but if you scroll down on down, you can see all the article the content, the images. I mean, this is a massive article that I did not have to write for my site. It took it directly from the YouTube video content, spun it up, made it unique, and added it to my site. And so I can do this a couple times a day if I want to. Um, up here, you can choose a language. Uh, there's subtitles, auto-translated captions, but you can also bulk post. And this is also a feature that's available if you upgrade, and it'll allow you to set the, the quantity of post you want. So we can do 10 posts and we can set the interval based on hours or even uh, minutes. So if you only want to do one post a day, do it every 24 hours, it's going to do over the 10 days, one post every day. You want to choose your category. And then if you have it set up to syndicate, it'll do it here. You can spin it before posting, include the videos, include the attribution, and you can add a footer text and a footer link, which will show up at the bottom of the article. And then it will automatically schedule these posts and do it on its own so you don't have to worry about it. So Content Gorilla, I think it's a great product. Um, I highly recommend you guys check it out, especially if you're working on WordPress sites and you want an easier way of getting massive articles put on your site to really help your site grow and to rank and to use it for affiliate promotions, uh, email lead generation, or whatever it is you wanna use. So with that said, be sure to check out my website. The link is directly under this video. It'll take you to where you can learn more about the upsells with Content Gorilla, the current pricing of it, and I got some bonuses on there you guys can pick up if you buy Content Gorilla through my website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth review of Content Gorilla. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I come out with reviews like this all the time, actually going in and giving you a detailed breakdown of the product. That way you know exactly what you're buying before you buy it. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks and have a great day.